one so today I'm doing a new cocktail series video and I thought not cocktail series that was my last series oh my gosh I always do that don't I gemstone series look and I thought I would do peridot or peridot or however you want to pronounce it in New Zealand like I always grow up saying peridot it's my birthstone it's quite an out there color for eye makeup I think and I kind of want to make it pretty like duh I thought I could do something quite you know out there but I just felt like doing something quite pretty so I'm going to attempt to make like a lime green color look pretty and we'll see how we go it might not end up looking pretty but we'll try how does google say how to say it peridot see peridot this is more or less the color of a peridot it's another one it's a little bit more like mm, moldy green eleven thousand eight hundred dollars whatever yeah you get the gist of what a peridot is so we're gonna do that today i'm gonna start with my base makeup while i try to like conjure up an idea of how i can make this look semi okay i have me iced coffee i'm vlogging again at the moment so make sure you check out my oh it's dripping cold water in my thighs make sure you check out my vlog channel because yeah i'm doing more vlogs lately so the first portion of this video is in collaboration with dermalogica i'm sure you guys have probably seen at least a couple of dermalogica products on my channel or vlogs or whatever in the past hamish is a huge fan of them also i used some of their stuff how many years ago it was when i was at ucol i'm pretty sure so 2012 maybe something like that I think and lots of people love the brand Dermalogica so I'm going to be showing you this little duo here today and if you do want a discount code I have one it is keep calm 10 all capitals I will list it down below and put a link down below so you can get the products I'm going to show you today for 10% off and that's during February and March which it's already March isn't it Ooh. This year is going so quick. So basically these two products here, we have Barrier Defense Booster. And then we also have the Water Calm Gel. So this little jewel is perfect for sensitive skin and it basically helps to kind of calm any of those associating factors of sensitive skin like irritation, redness, dryness, dehydration, and helps to kind of protect your skin against the elements, you know, like, the environmental abuse of the world my skin especially like at the moment it's so so dehydrated and flaky and just it's not its best it kind of looks okay through camera but it's just like when you touch it it just feels like like I can hear how like it's just not great and I've just been in the sea in the sand in the sun I've been traveling on planes like I don't know it just makes an impact on my skin so I'm going to be using this today to prep my skin before I do my foundation just so that my foundation goes on better you know a good foundation base really does start with good skincare I've said that a million times in my videos but it really does your skin is like the most important part of your foundation routine so step one is the ultra calming by Dermalogica barrier defense booster so you apply a few drops of this it's just like this little little droppy so you can just put like a few drops I don't know I just kind of shake out a few because I'm always extra you just put a few in your hands and then on cleansed skin which my skin is freshly washed you can just pat that over and this is basically just something that's going to soothe your skin and help to nourish your skin and it helps to like restore the balance especially it to sensitive skin i don't have overly sensitive skin but i just still felt like this worked really nicely on my skin type which is like you know just quite dry and dehydrated and i guess it is a little bit irritated and sensitive at the moment because of like i said like all the travel i've done so you just pat it in and it smells so good by the way I don't even know what it smells like, but it's good. And then you follow up with the step two of the duo. This is the Ultra Calming by Dermalogica Calm Water Gel. And I've been loving products like this recently. If you watch my vlogs, my main channel, you already know. For some reason, products like this work so well on my skin. They really just make me glow like no tomorrow. And they just work so well for me. Don't know what it is. It's just... I don't know this texture just works well so this product here has hyaluronic acid in it which is really good to lock in moisture into your skin and it looks like a gel like it looks really creepy when you apply it to your skin it just transforms and it's so good for dehydrated dry skin because it just locks in like I said all the moisture you rub it between your fingers and it just turns into this like really liquidy moisturizer and I don't know they just work so good for me so I'm just applying this I've got to like avoid my finger because I smashed my nail out this morning I was literally just drying myself with my towel and my whole nail snapped but I really need to get them redone so that's tomorrow's job today I just wanted to film I probably put on a little bit too much just then so I'm just gonna apply it down my neck which you should do anyway I always forget though 
um, and down my chest a little bit. You only need a little bit. I was just kind of like pouring it out because I wanted to show you like the texture of it. But anyway, I think out of both of these products, like they work amazing together, but especially that moisturizer, if you were just to try one thing, honestly get both, but <laughs> if you were to try one thing, the moisturizer is really nice. So if you do normally like my recommendations on skincare, if you've got similar skin to me, the moisturizer is really, really good. I think Hamish's favorite one is the Active Moist. He loves that one. He's got like more normal skin than me, but he seems to really love that one. I don't know, but anyway. Seriously, like that just made the world of a difference. So thank you so much to Dermalogica for collaborating with me on this little portion of the video. Once again, guys, check the down bar for the link and check for the discount code if you are keen to try this stuff out because you want to save money, right? Like who doesn't want to save money? Okay, now my skin is perfectly prepped for my foundation to go on top of. It's not feeling all dry and irritated and crap and flaky or anything now. Like it just feels so much softer. I'm sorry, I keep going on, but it just feels good. Um, we are going to put on this again. So in one of my other recent Get Ready With Me, I think it was my like hot pink one with Roller Lash by Benefit. What else did I use? I used the Shenix Low palette. I'll link it down below. I tried this out because I said I didn't know if it broke me out or not. And I didn't break out after I used it last time. So I'm gonna try it again and see if it breaks me out. Um, because obviously if I keep trying it now and it doesn't break me out, it must have been just a combination of traveling and the seawater cleaning out my skin and stuff like that over in the Maldives when I was using it. Maybe not the actual formula, but I do know this breaks out a lot of people, so I'm so confused. Apparently there's a Maybelline foundation, which is like an amazing dupe for it, which I really want to try, but I don't think it's in New Zealand yet. Oh god, this is going to be too pale for me now, probably. Oh, I should have wet my sponge before I did this. Um, okay, I'm just going to use my angled brush. Oh, it smells so full on, this foundation. I guess I can just put on this foundation and it's going to be a little bit too light, but um, put on like a darker powder or just some bronzer or something. I think I used way too much, didn't I? What was I thinking? I forgot how far this foundation goes. <laughs> look at me, I look so creepy. Oh my goodness. I remember when I was like 15, I used to actually wear my foundation like this heavy. Like, I used to just pile it on until you couldn't even see any of my skin underneath. My good old Revlon color stay, remember? Um, hold on, I just need to like remove some off my forehead because it's way too much. You need a little bit. That was such a waste of product, Shannon. You're such an idiot. Oh god, I just got it all in my hair. My forehead is peeling up here, so I'm so sorry if you can see some rank like skin. It got like burnt just like there when I went snorkeling, <laughs> so it's not ideal. By the way, thank you guys so much for your cute as feedback on my Fiji vlog. Um, you guys are so lovely. I love you. I'm glad you guys like the snorkeling parts too. I, when I was editing, I was like, is this too much? Like too much footage of snorkeling, but it's literally probably one of my favorite things to do in life. Um, you know, I should know this, but I want to ask you guys if you live in New Zealand like I do, and I know I should know this, but I don't. Is there anywhere good to go snorkeling in New Zealand? Because like... I need to get my fix. This went on so good on top of that moisturizer, seriously. By the way, if you're wondering why my hair's kind of blue, it's because I got it done the day before yesterday. And <clears throat> that's really cold. And it was really yellow because of traveling in the, the traveling in the, going in the pools and stuff while I was traveling. Um, and so we overtoned it. So the next time I wash it, it won't look so blue. Okay, next up I need to conceal. Oh god, my hands are slippery from my iced coffee and I can't open anything. I'm going to use one of my favorite concealers. This is vanilla. I'm kind of tempted, not tempted, excited to finish using this up because I've made such a huge dent in it and I feel like it's a really good accomplishment. This concealer just goes on so nicely. I'm weird and I put it on my waterline too. You don't need much at all. I actually feel like I use way more of this product when I do use a sponge, but I do like it with a sponge. Um, it's just so smooth. I'm gonna put it over my freckles on my nose too. The last time I filmed it was my natural makeup look. Not natural, but the one where I tried out this foundation. I'm sure you guys have probably seen already. I'll link it below if not. Um, and you know, that was like a very natural foundation coverage and today I just want like to not even be able to see my face anymore. Even though I think my forehead freckles are cute. I don't like the ones on my nose. Can we please pick and choose where our freckles pop up on our body? Because that would be really helpful. This is just the Kat Von D under eye setting powder with my shimmer tulip brush. 
And then I like to sometimes when I like put concealer on my nose, just put it just here too. Just to set the concealer in place so it doesn't go all patchy. Okay, now that my face is like a potato of one shade, um, well, I should probably set it first. So I'm just going to use the Patrick Star Powder, Patrick's Powder. I don't even know how I feel about it. I don't dislike it. It's just that I don't really know what a good loose powder is because I don't use them very often. But it does make my skin, I've used it a few times now, it does make my skin look very smooth. So I'm just patting some all over to set. So I don't think I need any more coverage and this is just like translucent basically. By the way, sorry guys, in my um, last couple of videos I know I was using my own palette a few times or a couple times and people didn't like that. I'm sorry, it wasn't even on purpose, like it just happened. Um, I don't normally plan to do stuff like that. I like to switch it up on my channel um, and try lots of different products. That's why I do so many of those like full face first impressions and testing high rated, testing low rated, full face of like one brand. Like I love trying new things. Um, so yeah, it wasn't on purpose. I'm sorry about that. And people that say I use my own brushes like all the time, it's like literally most of my collection. Like I have a couple of like Fenty Beauty brushes, a couple of Marc Jacobs, um, a couple of Tarte and most of them are just my own so I use my own brushes because they're my favorites and I love them so much and if you want to see different lashes you can search like Huda Beauty on my channel or something I've got a few tutorials using those lashes and today I was actually thinking of trying Lily lashes because I got sent some Lily lashes and people rave about them so I'm kind of excited to I'm I can't talk I'm trying I'm kind of excited to give them a go so let me know what you want to see on my channel like, I appreciate the feedback, just know it wasn't really on purpose. And I know I'm going ham with my EXO Beauty lip colours, like, I don't know, I'm just obsessed with them and I love wearing them, so I'm sorry if you're sick of it, but I won't use one today. Thank you for the feedback, like, I do appreciate it, but I'm sure you guys can also see why, like, I would use my own stuff, because it's literally, like, my dream stuff, and I created it, and I put lots of work into it, and I just love wearing it, if that makes sense. Um, and don't hate me, but there's like a lash try on video coming up for EXO Beauty. I tried on every single style because, you know, it just helps when people are looking for a certain style and they don't know which one they want or don't know how they'll look or whatever. So, yeah. Just putting on heaps and heaps of my Glam Glow Glow Setter to give me a little bit of a glow. Because I feel so matte all of a sudden. Maybe it was the powder, but anyway. That's fine. We'll put lots of highlighter on later. Okay, next up, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use my current favorite, which I've only used one other time in the video that you saw, the Full Face First Impressions I was just talking about before, where I tried this. Shade Medium. This is the Iconic London, what is it called again? Um, eyebrow Cushion. And it went on so amazing on top of just my foundation the other day. However, now that I've powdered, we're going to try it on top of like a powdered face. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm just taking the lighter color from the cushion and filling in my eyebrows. And I'm not going to talk too much while I do this, otherwise it'll take eight years to get through this tutorial. Okay, update. It applies just as well on top of powder. This stuff is so good. It reminds me of those like ink pens, like by Anastasia Beverly Hills and stuff. Except it just goes on like 80 million times better because those little ink pens, sometimes I feel like they look real watery, but it's like a very similar texture if that makes sense. I don't know why my eyebrows are way more arched than normal. I obviously got a little bit carried away, but whatever. This eyebrow is like really wonky, but we're going to deal with it. And then this is the Brow Tamer by Urban Decay. I really do need to try the lighter color of this um, brow cushion, but... I don't know. I like dark eyebrows. I feel like if my hair was down because it looks a lot blonder when it's down. It looks dark up because of my natural hair color coming through the foils. But like I feel like against this color it would be way too dark. So contouring with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzing glow with my bronzer brush and the contour shade of course. Comment down below and let me know what gemstone you want to see next in my series. Um, I'll probably do how many more do you think I should do? Like three or four or so? And then move on to the next series, which I've got an idea of what I want to do. Let's start with the eye makeup. I have no idea what I'm going to do, although I do remember. Let me just check something quickly. So Kristen Leanne did a look like this. I just went through her feet because I remember just being obsessed with something that was like bright yellowy like lime. So she did this, which looks really cool. So maybe I can take a little bit of inspiration from that. Okay, so a couple of palettes I have here. This is the new Chloe Morello Volume 2. 
which is super pretty. Look at this. It's got some nice like pinky tones, purples, neutrals, greens, silvers, greys, all sorts of stuff. And then I've also got the Saints and Sinner palette by Kate Von D with this nice liney kind of green. Um, so we're going to try and create something that looks kind of like a peridot. I'm going to start just by popping some of a neutral shade just through my crease before I figure out where I'm going to place this green. So I think I'm going to take the shade Nini, which is right here from the Chloe Marolo palette on my Dirty AF brush. This is a tulip crease brush and I'm just going to go straight into that crease. It's one of my favorite brushes of all time because it really just like blows out the color and makes it look flawless. So this color is quite a warm, almost like a pinky brown, like it's not pink whatsoever. Just the undertone of it, it's a very, very like, I don't know, pinky reddish undertone. So yeah, once again, we're trying to create a pretty look today, whatever that means. Um, like a glam kind of effect. Okay, I really, really, really want to try this. This is the Shiseido Paper Light Cream Eye Color. And this is in the shade Namiki Bright Green. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, this look may not look glam. This may look colorful AF, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of that into the inner corner. This is a very light kind of pastel shade. Like it looks scary in the pan, but it's almost kind of wearable. I'm just smacking this all in there. I don't think I'm gonna do any kind of cut crease or anything. Um, we'll see where it goes. Okay, so first I'm gonna take the shade Exodus from this palette just here. And I'm just going to put that right on top of the inner corner. I'm gonna take the shade Chartreuse from the Chloe Morello palette and put it on top, just cause I like the shimmer. Then I'm going to take the shade Halo, which is like a really nice light golden shade and just pat that right on the inner corner on top just to lighten it up. Oh my God, that's so perfect. I love this color. Oh my god, look how amazing this color is. I need to use that color one day. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of Chartreuse once again and just pop that in the middle of my eyelid. I actually don't know what I'm doing right now, you guys, like whatsoever. This color is really nice. It's actually quite wearable considering it's like a lime green. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Sold, which is that green right next to it. And just blend that into the sides just a little bit. And then I think I might do a little bit of a halo and just a little bit of a brown on either side to make it a little bit more wearable. And I'm going to take the shade next to it, which is a very like kind of greeny undertoned brown, if that makes sense. Pop that just there. And then we're going to use that same color we used at the very beginning to blend this together and make it hopefully look quite pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little tiny bit of that Meron color once again on my blender brush, just a small amount, just to kind of put this through the crease to make it transition nicer. Might have to touch up that brown, I mean, not brown, the lime green again, because I kind of buffed a lot of it away. Oh, I like that. I'm just going to bring it up into the crease a little bit too. Okay, and now I'm going to just run um, the Chartreuse shade right under here. Just simple. Not worrying about it being too opaque or anything, just like for a hint of green. Making sure it's more kind of opaque at the very inner corner. I have a couple of like uber bright greeny chartreuse shades of eye pencil so this one here is the um urban decay post-punk glide on eyeliner well it's not as bright as i thought it would be but that's okay oh i'm also going to take that halo shade the light gold just under my brow bone on a pencil brush so i have these glitters here i feel like using glitter today because why not i haven't done it in a while so i have the violet voss gwen i have the go get glitter just this color this is not eye safe so like, I don't recommend putting them in your eye on top of your eyes. Anyways, and then I've got the Glitter Gypsy NZ Poison Ivy. And then I have some little stars. I'm going to use a firm blender brush for the glitter to try and get like a very sparse effect. But we all know how that went last time I tried to do that with the turquoise look. So I'm going in with the Vital Voss Gwen first. And just tapping that all the way up like that. I just put little stars on my eyes and you can't even see them. Okay, I've got Lily Lashes. I hope these aren't mink, but I don't know how to tell. Oh, they are mink. Okay, I'm not going to use those ones. These ones don't say mink on them. They're called Opulent. I think to pull this look together, we just need to add Glam Lashes. So this is what they look like. 
they're really pretty um very long like they're just so long and just kind of like clustered i guess is that what you would say so I'm going to apply these after I do my mascara. I'm going to try this mascara that comes with the Chloe Morello palette. This is the Black Magic Wonder Wand Mascara by Ciate. It looks like this. The wand's actually quite cool looking. It's quite, um, I don't know, fluffy or something. It's not even going on to my eyelashes. I know that's a no-no, but there's like no product on the wand. Okay, here we go. This mascara makes my lashes look so long. Not so much voluminous, just very long. This one doesn't have an invisible band, so I'm just trying to get it as close to my lashes as I possibly can. I probably should have done eyeliner with these lashes, but what if? They still look really pretty. So long and so, so fluffy. So that's the eye makeup, and I am actually really happy with how it looks. I think it's very pretty. So um, now let's quickly just finish off the rest of the face, because that's the main part of the look completed. So for my highlight today, I am going to use a Fenty Beauty one, I reckon. Might try this one. I don't think I've worn it before. It doesn't look like I have. It's called Hustler Baby. Um, and I'm going to use a face definer brush. Oh, that's so pretty. I really like these highlighters for something intense. Um, they're quite shimmery, but I feel like when you buff them in like I am here, um, it just doesn't look as like... I don't know, it doesn't just sit on the surface, do you know what I mean? Like it kind of blends in and the shimmers kind of blend together so it just looks very metallic rather than lots of separate glitters or separate shimmers or anything like that. But it definitely does accentuate my texture on my skin. Um, but my skin's looking pretty nice right now from that moisturizer earlier. It's just quite smooth so it's a good time to do it. Stunning. It's almost like a peach with gold as well. Um, in terms of blush, I think I'm actually just going to leave my skin as it is and just do my lips. So I feel like with this look, just a peachy kind of colour maybe, like a peachy nude or something like that. Let me find something. Now that I've like decluttered all my liquid lipsticks, it's so much easier to find colours I need. I kind of want to try this because it's like, um, I was kind of thinking of something more like light, but this one's not super light for me. This is called Dash of Spice. It's the Retro Matte Lip Colour by MAC. It's very, um grungy like this color do we like it it's kind of something different let's just roll with it it's different to what i normally would do i love this lip color i'd probably normally wear it with something a little bit different it makes my teeth look so white <laughs> um i don't know though i just think it's cool this is the completed look let me just see i want to see if i've got like a metallic eyeshadow so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial once again don't forget to check out the down bar for links to everything coupon code for the skincare i do really really like it doesn't matter if i'm in partnership wouldn't promo it if i didn't you guys know me thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and of course leave your recommendations down below um next gemstone look what do you want to see what makeup products do you want me to see i mean want me to see want me to use in my channel etc etc i'm going to drench myself in this again oh, so good um yeah and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye